Welcome to Boss Up Goddess. I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins, and I'm so excited to talk with you tonight because I go solo I like sometimes, and sometimes I interview trailblazing women who share their wisdom to help us all live bigger, better, and bolder. Well, guess what? My sister, Catherine Greenspan is one of those wise women, and she guides me every single day to be better. She's so smart. She's one of the smartest people I know. So today, she helped me have the most profound mind shift. I'm stunned. I feel like a different person today. This week, I was really worried about something. And I always say that worry is like using your imagination in the wrong direction. So if you use your imagination to envision the best case scenario and feel the feelings with all the awesomeness that can happen instead of the worst case scenario, it works. But it's hard because sometimes I believe we are addicted to fear, addicted to panic, addicted to worry, addicted to doubt, addicted to this spiral of negative energy that just sucks us into this abyss where we can't function or propels us in such a adrenaline charged state of urgency that it kind of creates a high that we get used to being in. And so I had that happen today. And it was over something I'd been worried about this past week. And I called my sister, of course, and she talked me off the ledge. And she referenced this book. book by James Clear called Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. And he said, in order to change a habit, which can be your thought patterns, which trigger your behavior, you have to change on an identity level, on an identity level. So she said, you have to repeat to yourself, I am the type of person who... X, Y, Z. So our conversation today became, I am the type of person who always expects the best, even when I don't have all the facts. Because it's when we don't have all the facts, when our fear could be a runaway train this way into this catastrophic thinking. Whereas if you are the type of person, identity, the type of person who always expects the best, even when I don't have all the facts, you're going to go into the positive direction. Most importantly, you're going to feel calm and you're going to release that panic. So guess what? I started saying that over and over out loud today and confirmation constant. I would get a phone call, an email, something would happen. Information confirming that my positive, no, it's not just positive thinking. It's expecting like that's an act. Expecting is an act. I expect this to happen. So the act of expecting and declaring it and saying it out loud was manifesting in affirmations that the, good, the best case scenario was happening. I have so many examples of that in my life. And so I just proceeded to declare this out loud as I did laundry, as I did other stuff today. And then the universe likes to underscore messages. So I got ready for my run. I get my phone, going to listen to something great. What pops up on my YouTube feed with the podcaster, Aubrey Marcus, who I'd never really watched before. And then he was interviewing Dr. Joe Dispenza. So super powerful. And guess what? The messages were underscoring exactly what Catherine had said and what I was doing and what was working. Now, what really tripped me out is yes, Mr. Aubrey Marcus Aubrey, is this super duper superstar on his platform of self-development in a nutshell. I mean, really powerful, amazing person and messages. And it was almost like he was speaking the same dialogue out of my head. It was blowing my mind. So I'm running. I was running, listening to all this today. And then Dr. Joe Dispenza, if you're not familiar with him, he says he likes to use science to demystify 
uh, spirituality. A lot of people who are spiritual seekers need that scientific validation that this isn't just hocus pocus. It's not. I already know that. My book, if you read my memoir, God's answer is no. You'll see that I meditate and I have all kinds of psychedelic experiences with no drugs, no drinks, no pills, no mushrooms, nothing. It's just pure spirit. And it's so freaking powerful. You have to experience it to believe it. Um, and you have to trust it. So the point is that once you do this mind shift, and I don't believe you can do it on your own all the time because I needed my sister's input to help me shift. Once you do it, you start to see immediate changes first in your emotions, which affect your body and how you feel. Then in the outcome of your situations all day, affirmations, best possible. And guess what? When I sat down to work today, three solid hours that I had set aside for certain tasks, my brain was so clear, so focused, because I didn't have all that mental overhead of the angst that had been like blinking and trying to distract me or give me a stomach ache. Amazing. Okay. So thank you by James Clear for writing your book, Atomic Habits. And thank you, Catherine Greenspan for reading it. And thank Mr. you, Mar Aubrey Marcus. And thank you, Dr. Joe Dispenza, because today has been a tremendously transformative day. So Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about the mind body spirit connection, but he uses the scientific analytics to confirm the 3d reality of what's going on on a supernatural level. Super powerful. I highly recommend if you're not familiar, start listening to him. He's amazing. Then I went running and I was like processing all this information at the same time. And when you run, it totally like transforms your physiology because you're releasing endorphins, you're breathing in fresh air, you're out in nature. Oh my gosh, it felt amazing. So I went from this panic attack morning to empowered badass within a short time because of this mind shift. Now, my show is called Boss Up Goddess, and I've explained a zillion times how I got the goddess idea, which came to me at the gym um, during intense verbal abuse when I was going through a terrible situation. And all the bad words were like jumping around in my head and tormenting me. And I'm like, no, I'm a queen. And I'm huffing and puffing. And that's when I heard, you are a goddess. And spirit showed me this silver box in the middle of my head that was a transformer. All the horrible words went in one side, transformed inside, streamed out the other as goddess, power, peace. And so that was today. It was like an affirmation, a reinforcement of that message that our brains are so freaking powerful that enable us to shift. And when we shift our brains, we shift everything, everything my whole perspective. So you know what I also I did today? I am the type of person who always expects the best possible outcome, even when I don't have all the facts. I kept saying that. But guess what? I got in such a good groove. I had my notebook, which I always have a notebook near me. Um, and I wrote out, I am the type of person who, and I started writing out and Catherine suggested this, I started writing out everything I needed. And I'm not done yet. But that I needed to shift. And I felt so much better. And I stepped forward with all my tasks with this new sense of empowerment. I'm telling you, now listen to this, it's free. All you have to do is decide that you want to change because you're tired of being miserable. And that's the mission of boss up goddess. It's that you're so tired of being miserable, scared, defeated, uh, annoyed, guilty, regretful, angst ridden, all that stuff that you want to change, but how? That's why I really think we need help from someone that we trust, who's wise, or from an author, um, or from a podcaster, uh, or from a coach, a therapist, uh, a mentor, get help. Because there's people who have the expertise and guidance who can help you. 
Um, real quick, Catherine and I had a hilarious moment because when we were University of Michigan students as English majors together, I was a reporter and editor at the campus paper, the Michigan Daily, and I worked really long hours at the Daily. I loved it, loved it, it laid a foundation for my journalism career and my career as a writer, author, publisher, all that good stuff. But Catherine... <laughs> would re we had this class called Living Writers with Nicholas Del Banco, and it was the best class because we had real authors come to our class every week. Okay, Absolutely. so they would come and uh, talk about their books, and we would get to ask them questions. We had Jamaica Kincaid, Tim O'Brien, um, who else? Oh, Francine Prose. Oh, it was just an awesome class. So anyway, a lot of times I was too busy. I hope Professor Del Blanco isn't watching, but I was too busy to read the books because I was at the daily writing and editing articles. So Catherine would read the books and tell me what they were about. And then when the authors would come to the class, I would ask a really cool question based on what she <laughs> told me, basically Catherine's cliff notes of the book. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, great question. <laughs> and I hadn't read the book. <laughs> so this is the same thing today. She gave me the cliff notes of Atomic Habits by James. <laughs> and I applied it. It was really fun. So, but it's real, it's serious, but we have fun, right? So you know what feels so good to giggle? Because about 12 hours ago, I was in like this really stressed out state. <laughs> So um, anyway, my message is really, really important um, that you can shift your mindset. All you need are some tools. And those tools are first desire to change. And secondly, words. Like I see these words as like a rope ladder up and out of the abyss and you climb up it by repeating the words. And another cool thing happens when you say things out loud as a mantra, you're reprogramming your subconscious mind. Think and Grow Rich, my favorite, one of my favorite books, Think and Grow Rich on uh, Napoleon Hill. It's not just about money. It's about enriching your mind, body, spirit. He calls it the power of auto suggestion. And so for many years, the way that I lost 100 pounds and got on the Oprah Winfrey show to celebrate it, the way I wrote 35 books, the way I've done many things, the way I created a divorce that I called the harmonious resolution that ultimately became harmonious. It took 16 years, but okay, it was terrible in the interim, but the way I've achieved many of these things is through the power of auto suggestion as Napoleon Hill recommends in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Please read that book, life-changing. And you have to read it over and over. I first read it in 2000. That was 20 years ago. And every time I read the book, something new teaches me, inspires me, shifts me. But anyway, auto suggestion is basically reprogramming your mind. And you do that with words. And when you write, which I've been doing all day, look, I've been writing. This is where I, my sister, we it's whatever. Anyway, I wrote it all. And then there's something that happens that reinforces your brain shift when you use a pen with your hand, because I, I type like lightning. So I'm like, <laughs> I type really fast. And if I type, there's something less the impactful on the mind shift as if then if you're writing, because it does it takes a minute to get down there and get, you know, pressing the pen and then it slows you down and then you see your words and then you can look at them again. So writing is really important, but it's part of the auto suggestion. Then you have to read it to yourself and say it out loud. And when your own brain hears your own voice saying something over and over and over, it's going to shift. And secondly, in the act, you can't be thinking about the panic points because you're talking. So your brain energy is going toward your mouth, not up to this chaotic whatever you're trying to diffuse. Okay, so it really, really works. And so here's what I also have done, and maybe I'll do it with this, but it's so new today. Over the years, 
when I was super overweight and I needed to lose all that weight, I made a recording. Back then it was with a micro cassette recorder. They were like this big and you could talk into it. And then I would play it. They were like 30 minutes, an hour of me. First, I wrote out a script and then I recorded it and I listened to it over and over and over and over and over until I had lost the hundred pounds. I was super fit. I was on Oprah. I was on Montel. I was on this, that, and the other. I had written all these extra books. And so you can manifest so powerfully with auto suggestion by reprogramming your mind. It is a trip. It is amazing. It will blow your mind when you do it because stuff just starts to fall into place. I had multiple incredible moments today, unexpected gifts, um, unexpected information, unexpected in- exchanges with people. Um, and so it works. And it feels so good, especially when you're coming from a place of the angst that I had had over the week, uh, at times being, you know, a range of motions, none of which were fun, and the revelations that come from it. So please, listen, use my example, you can make a mind shift right now. It's not about, oh, after the holidays, or oh, in the new year, or no, now. But that now only happens when you get so frustrated and so mad and annoyed, and just freaking fed up with it. You know, sick and tired of it, literally, of I cannot go another minute stuck in this abyss of mental angst, chaos, So start declaring to yourself, I am the type of person who, and then fill in the blank. I am the type of person who feels confident in everything I do. I am the type of person who always does my best. And when things don't go the way I want them, I have new systems to prevent that from happening again. I am the type of person who always expects the best possible outcome, even when I don't have all the facts. I am the type of person who's always striving to be my best. Brilliantly, today, Catherine pointed out to me that I have done this successfully in the past. And I've talked a lot on this show about my past struggles with food, fat, body image, and the insanity that it created for me, depression, suicidal thoughts, laxative abuse, you know, to the point that I'm like, I literally thank God that I was never able to make myself throw up. I tried when I was a teenager. I ate all this ice cream. I wrote about it in my book. Um, I ate all this ice cream and my plan was to go home and throw up. And then I would never gain weight from all the ice cream. Fortunately, it didn't work. My face got red, my eyes got watery, I was coughing. Thankfully, I'm so grateful that I don't think I would be alive right now if I had learned how to throw up because I I would I would I wouldn't be here. So thank you God for that. So my point is that's where I was starting from with the mindset about food and fat and diet and all that. And so now My healthy eating exercise wellness regimen is a non-negotiable in my day. It's autopilot. And that's coming from a place where when I was stressed, my first thought was give me as much ice cream as my stomach will hold and then some. As soon as it digests a little, give me some cookies, give me some this, that, and the other till I just felt comatose with sugar and just the whole cascade of terrible emotions and hateful self-talk and weight gain and just feeling awful as a result of that. That used to be me. And then I, uh, once I became a mom, I uh, decided that I was not going to engage in that type of behavior anymore because I wanted to live long and I wanted to be healthy. And then I also had a moment um, 
it's in my book too, about I had abused laxatives and that was my secret to, oh, I can eat as much pizza as I want and it's going to come out in the next morning and I'll be good. I can wear my skinny shorts or my skinny jeans or my leather pants and I'll feel great. Nobody knows that I gorged on pizza and then it was all gone in the morning in the bathroom. Well, one morning I almost fainted in the bathroom. I got like this weird ringing sound in my, and then I felt like everything was going dark and I was, and I laid down on the bathroom floor and I was like, please, God, please don't let me faint. Please. I'll, I promise I'll stop doing this. And I did. I did. I stopped. So I embarked on this super healthy lifestyle. I exercise. I uh, do yoga. I meditate. I am a, uh, certified as an intuitive practitioner through Lori Lipton at Sacred Balance Academy in Bloomfield Hills. And I lead a guided meditation for people all over the country every Wednesday night. I'm committed to helping other people, other seekers find spiritual practices that they can incorporate into their daily life. And so I embarked on this super healthy lifestyle. And one day I was really stressed. I was actually at a Starbucks and I was writing in my journal and like all my angst was bubbling out. And I walked outside and my first thought was, I need to go home and lace up my running shoes and go running. And then I was like, whoa, that's awesome. Because my first thought was to exercise, not eat. That was when I truly realized you can change the way you think, which changes the way you act, which changes the way you look and feel, which changes your life. And so Catherine reminded me today that I make my green drinks in the morning, my green goddess smoothies in the morning, whether I feel like it or not. I get all my ingredients. I make it. It takes some work. You have to stay stocked up on all the green stuff. I get my exercise daily, whether I feel like it or not. It was snowing and I still went running. I eat a certain regimen of foods. It's just autopilot. I don't eat chocolate. I don't eat sweets. I don't eat um, ice cream. I don't eat junk food. I just ha- eat what I eat. And that's just me. That's my life. It's autopilot. So the point is that she was making is that I have proven that you can change your thoughts in such a way that you're on autopilot with a brand new way of thinking. Today, Dr. Joe Dispenza talking about the way the brain creates these new pathways based on your thinking, but you have to take action to make it happen. But I think of it as ruts, like our thinkings are thinking is in these ruts, like, you know, when you get stuck in the snow, and the car is just going back and forth in those sort of ruts in the snow, and it's not moving, you're stuck. And I think our thoughts can be like that. So you need a push some kind of push to move the car. And usually if you live in a snowy place, you know, you've got a bunch of people and then you push the car and it like goes sort of at an angle out and finally out of the rut. And then you're free to drive, speed away. So those ruts are where we're in that panic. We're in that uh, fear-based thinking that, you know, negativity, that suction downward, And so when you have these words to climb up on and expand out of, um, it really, really works. So you create these new pathways to escape the ruts of the thinking and the pathways just lead you up to bigger and better places. It's awesome. So (laughs) I hope I've inspired you today because this really works. So read, you should read the book by James Clear called Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. Listen to the podcaster, Aubrey Marcus, and I watched an episode of his podcast today called How to Create the Future You Want with Dr. Joe Dispenza. It's on YouTube. Again, Aubrey Marcus, a podcast episode, which is on video on YouTube called How to Create the Future You Want with Dr. Joe Dispenza. Oh my gosh, it's an hour and a half, but it's worth watching. It's so good. It was really a transformative experience for me today. So please check it out on YouTube. 
How to Create the Future You Want with Dr. Joe Dispenza on the Aubrey Marcus podcast. Hot, 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 hot stuff. Listen to Dr. Joe Dispenza. They have tremendous guidance. And thank you for listening to me today. I'm here to teach. That's my mission. I am here to teach. You see, my book is called Lessons from a Spiritual Life, if you can see it. Lessons from a Spiritual Life. Lessons from a Spiritual Life. It's all about mind, body, spirit. It's all connected. And it works. It works. It's not easy. It takes work. It takes work. But the alternative of not doing the work and staying in that space of mental misery is not a cho- not a choice. Nope, not a choice. And guess what? Guess what? The cosmos is backing you to shift right now. The cosmos, okay? The universe, the divine creator spirit source, Right now, the universe is poised for the great awakening. The age of Aquarius happens Monday, but Monday is the winter solstice, December 21st. Massive, massive shift. Perfect time to take action right now. Right now, write down what's not working. What do you want in your life? What would you rather be? Who would you rather be? At the same time, the pandemic and the shutdown, slowdown, lockdown, call it what you want, is giving us time to pause, to reflect, to reprogram, reinvent ourselves. Instead of all the big holiday parties that we normally would possibly attend, This is the time to reflect, spend some time in solitude, silence, stillness, reflect on self and figure out how would I rather be? And if you don't know, all the more reason to spend that time going within yourself. All the answers are within. They're not on social media telling you how you should look or how you should dress or what you should own. It's what do you want in here, inside? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel like you're on purpose? What makes you feel passionate? What makes you feel like it's worth it to get up in the morning. What would make you feel excited to get up in the morning and look forward to the next day? What would make you feel so excited that you don't even want to go to bed at night? You just want to keep doing whatever you're doing. What would make you feel like you're leaving a positive, powerful legacy on the world? And if you don't know, take time to ask yourself that. And then be gentle and patient to figure it out. Now is the time. Use the energies of the universe right now, especially on Monday, to reflect, to write, to declare the new you. And if you're not ready for that, just don't worry. Just say, I'm getting ready for it. Uh, Abraham Hicks always says, when you're ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready. (laughs) So it takes a little time to get there. But guess what? A lot of us reach some kind of breaking point or revelation or just rock bottom or some kind of moment where we're like, oh, hell no, I am not continuing in this manner for another freaking minute. I've had lots of moments like that. And I'm, I started my year review to figure out, you know, I want to look back and see this year because there were some highs and there were some lows. And uh, I really want to reflect back and process it and reflect on my new year and, and stepping forward fearlessly, living bigger, better, and bolder, bossing up goddess and living my true goddess life. So the book, 
boss up goddess, start living your effing potential is all about that. It's again, it's similar to my other book, Lessons from a Spiritual Life, but it's also like really practical direction that you can apply on a daily basis to be your best. So this book actually has a, a teaching section in it where I teach you how to meditate and clear your chakras and understand how energy works in your life and how to eat a high vibe diet and how to journal and how to do all kinds of other really cool things. So there's a teaching section here and Boss Up Goddess also has the teaching section to show you exactly how to shift. So that was the mission of today's show. The mission of today's show is all about your mindset and you have the power to practice auto-suggestion as um, Napoleon Hill says in Think and Grow Rich. You can do it. You can shift, you can feel better, and you can step forward fearlessly and fiercely into the new year and just feel amazing and make positive, powerful things happen. So I'd love if you drop me a comment and say, you know, how do you want to change? What are you doing? What's your mantra? And do you have any other books that you recommend that are super helpful on making this kind of mind shift? I hope that you can start applying everything I just said right now, because you are going to feel better. And that's the point. We all want to feel good. And we can use when we don't feel good as a launch point, a, a launch point into discovering new ways to shift our minds into becoming our biggest, boldest, best self. That's how you boss up, goddess. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins. And if you're finding value in this program, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell. So you'll know every time I upload a new video or go live. So thank you very much for watching. Please like this video. And <laughs> you can also order my book at twosisterswriting.com. It's Boss Up Goddess. Start living your effing potential by shifting your mindset. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching tonight. And remember, you have the power. I'll see you next time.